tensions escalate, all United States Marines ready fight to destroy China in the South China Sea. The United States Marines top has a new plan to fight a high-end war in the South China Sea Asia Pacific recent. To challenge the enemy's increasing power in the South China Sea, Marine Corps Commander Jen David Berger has said that force dispersal will be crucial for a fight in the Indo-Pacific region. And now, Marine Corps Commandant Jen David Berger has outlined just what the American Marine Corps needs to do in order to prepare for a high-end, peer-peer fight in the Pacific region. And David Berger's comments were delivered as part of the annual Modern Day Marine event, and also an annual conference for Marines, media and defense industry experts that showcases what is in store for the courts and the future for strength. And especially after the conclusion of the Korean conflict, or since the end of World War II, American forces in the Pacific region, most especially the Marine Corps, have been positioned with an eye to those two regions. From a historical standpoint, this posture makes sense but is no longer the best choice for preparing for a conflict with the strongest power in Asia, the People's Republic of China. David Berger acknowledged the adjustment needed in the Marine Corps presence in Asia territory. And I know we are taking a look at the posture of United States forces in the Pacific, David Berger said. And Marine forces were well designed, and well crafted pointed from California to Japan like an arrow at the Korean Peninsula, and this matter to make sure that if there was another problem on the peninsula we'd be well positioned to handle the region. However, in an era when Chinese ballistic missile forces are expanding in the region, as is the Chinese Navy, currently including the largest navy, and the wisdom of densely concentrated United States forces on bases in China's backyard is increasingly in question. Though vulnerable the United States currently is in the Pacific, that is underlined by the Department of Defense China Power Report 2020, and he explained that rocket forces, Chinese bombers, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles can strike targets as far away as Guam in the Western Pacific. He said. Berger emphasized. We have to spread out, we have to factor in Guam, he stated, the key to protecting America forces from Chinese strikes in the region and we have to have a dispersed, distributed laydown in the Pacific region that allows us to work with all the partners and also allies, aiming to forces like the People's Liberation Army in the territory, Beggar said. So, our posture must change, from asserting themselves in a manner that tries to rewrite the global norms that have been well established in the past 70 years, David Berger said. And this force dispersal strategy has been mulled over before, to challenge the real enemy force. Some Marines have suggested widely dispersed in the territory, and decentralized groups of Marines could benefit from small ship, and the way this is done in order hard to detect, and automatically piloted resupply ships similar to narco submarines. These sheep transports could in theory reach far-flung groups of marines and keep fed, watered, and armed for defense. The same goes for land-based systems as well. And now, the Marine Corps is developing a remotely operated, unmanned joint light tactical vehicle that aiming to carry anti-ship missiles and lying in wait on remote specks of land to take out Chinese ships in the territory. 